Brother Mike introduced the project to us at first. He wanted us to create a three minute video about violence in Chicago. But me and my friend Jalen, we kind of thought that you can't really fit a, such a broad topic into a three minute video. So we kind of expanded it and that's how the project came to be. Do you feel as if violence can be stopped? I don't know. If violence can be stopped, that would be a miracle. Yeah, because uh, I think like 2010, like 500 something people died, and I, I'm scared that I might be that five in that 500. Okay, today, like shot town. In America, according to the Chicago Sun Times, as of Tuesday, Chicago had racked up 426 murders. Every time we walk, they like try to walk up against us, walk up on us, and like do some stupid stuff, but we wouldn't mind it. Just Last night was violent all over the city. 20 people were shot in just 12 hours. Violence in Chicago is like something that I really hate. When you think about Chicago, you think about tall buildings, ferris wheels, and businessmen. For most people, this isn't the real Chicago. The real Chicago is filled with crime, drugs, game bangers, projects, childhoods without fathers, 14-year-old dropouts. On the FBI's national list of the most dangerous cities in the USA, Chicago is ranked number 15. Chicago closed 2009 with 509 homicides. More than 308 soldiers who died in 2008 in Iraq. More than 15 schools on the south side are in Illinois' worst schools annual list. Chicago teenagers face danger in and out of school. There are many organizations that fight to stop the violence in Chicago, such as Cease Fire and Cure Violence. The question that is always raised is, is there really a solution to ending the violence in Chicago? With the documentary, the teenagers I interviewed were my sources, and I don't think that in the paper I could have gotten my point across more. And the video could actually persuade teens to, because a teenager would rather sit down and watch a, a video about violence in Chicago or sit down and read a 10, a 10 page paper about violence in Chicago. I pinpointed little things that could stop violence, such as video games and the videos that you see on BET, because for instance, the videos you see on BET, they're persuading you to be violent. So if I say, hey, look, they're trying to persuade you to be violent, do you want to become a statistic like them? They'll probably say no, so they won't listen to what they're saying until Lil Wayne is telling them or whatever the rappers are telling them. So I feel as if creating a documentary and actually telling them what they're listening to and how they can stop it will help them make better choices. <laughs> When you turn on your TV, all you see is rappers flaunting their wealth and their girlfriends. When you actually listen to what the rappers are saying, it's petrifying. Birdman and Jada Kids call females out of their names, while 50 Cent talks about how many people he shot up. Lil Wayne talks about how much weed he smokes a day, and Lloyd Bank talks about how many cars he has. When you ask most rappers if they believe they influence by it, they say no. When you ask the teenagers, the answer is the other way around. They do persuade teens to be violent because they be like, shoot that, you know, that nigga, like, kill that, you know, stuff like that. So I think that teenagers will listen to it. They trying to get drilled like, they trying to um, rap like them, and then they trying to do violence like them. I surveyed 20 teens and 10 adults. 87% of them said they believe gangster rap is one of the reasons behind violence. So we reached our first cure. Less gangster rap equals less violence. We didn't have to create a documentary. Other kids were creating music. So I was like, okay, I'll just put your music pieces in my video so it could tie in together. Um, like, I don't even know one of the kids' pieces I put in, but he's at U Media. He's a high schooler, and the song was really, really good. So I put his in there. I put a couple of my friends' videos in there. So it was really cool, and they were really excited about it. Do you feel as if video games persuade children to be violent? Well, yes, not really. Uh, yeah, because I have to. How long ago it was with that child, he had to his mother's car. He got to say he got it from the video game. Well, 
yes, at a young age you absorb things. So say you're playing a video game in the where you just play as characters, just slash people's heads off and then just fighting them up with a gun, with the AK-47. But um, at a young age you absorb that and say, there's nothing wrong with violence. I think it starts at home. I think video games is just a way to pass time and have fun. If if a child is persuaded to be violent by video games, then they really shouldn't. Well, I I don't know if video games influence violence as much as violence influences video games. But. Yeah, everyone was sharing everything. We were helping each other all the time. Like if someone needed to put a, a video in one of their PSAs, I helped them with that. Or if I needed an interview, I would just go steal them out the studio from Brother Mike. And yeah, so everyone was really helping each other. It was a huge collaboration, really. Do you feel as if in all of the video games that have to do with violence, killing people, stabbing people, were banned, that the world would be a better place and there would be less violence? Even in your normal average cartoon, if someone gets hurt, that's still violence. Or if someone gets killed in the cartoon, that's still violence. Anything that has to deal with violence is pretty much set in media. So you don't think that the content in Grand Theft Auto isn't bad for a 12-year-old to be watching? Well, uh, I think I think it's just, it really should be an age limit where children can play games like that. But really, it, it really doesn't have I don't think it has an effect on the uh, children's health. Grand Theft Auto, of course. I like, did know a lot of things about the way my friends thought, because they act so hard all the time. But then when we sat down and talked about violence, I was like, wow, so you really are kind of a soft person. So yeah, it was a, it was a fun experience. And I got to work with my friends, so yeah. I honestly do feel like, like you media, and remix run and stuff like that is helping. And yeah, we are taking our culture back if you really think about it that way.